I got hit on the Monday and the wedding would have been the week on Saturday. I was thoroughly convinced that I was going to go down the aisle in a wheelchair. <laughs> I, 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 it didn't cross my mind at all. I, 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 I rang work the day after in HDU, high as a kite on um, morphine and told them that I was fine. <laughs> and my husband had to phone work and say, she's not. She's just on drugs. She has no idea that she's not fine at all. Um, so I was convinced that we were going to do the wedding. And we, I'd just, just go down on the island in the wheelchair. It'd be fine, absolutely fine. I do remember blazingly, blazingly thinking that the wedding was going to go ahead. The Yorkshire Ambulance isn't funded by the NHS. It is run by a charity. So it's just something that I can do to feed back into that, that process. And that's why I get involved and that's why I help out where I can. In terms of putting on the wedding dress again, yep. do you think it will fit? Um, I would hope so. There's a, there's a lot of people mentioning diets at this moment in time. So I'm quite lucky that it's not that long ago that I got married. I feel for the people who've been married 15, 16, 17 years um, uh, and what state their wedding dresses will be in and what fashion they will be as well. I'm hoping that someone comes in a big blumange, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I'm hoping it'll fit. 